Alright, so this is uh, the last little video. So I'm in a new file, and um, I created a new new debris spring along the ground, um, and I cached it out, created the same tool, so like from before, uh, wrote it to disk, uh, created a TD tool, uh, put it in the systems, and now I'm in a new file. So um, we're going to kind of like uh, redo a couple things here, but I'm going to drop in a uh, particle system. Uh, go to modify, and then I'm going to go to systems, and then I'm going to go, okay, so here's my original debris cache, and then I'm going to go uh, exist or create, and then there it is. So, uh, again, uh, show mesh, groups as objects is on. Alright, there they are. So, uh, some things have changed, like they're still spinning because of a mistake. I lost my file and shit like that. So don't worry about that, but the main point of it is, like, that can be fixed in the file. So I'm going to go use existing. I have another one, another TD tool in the systems. Um, I just named it uh, Debris Add. And there we go. And it's added um, more particles. So we have we have one group and whenever we drop in these uh, TD tools from different artists it's always adding into debris and then you know here it is in the, the main file so we keep we can keep on adding into the scene assembly very quickly all the different effects and they'll just use the same groups um, a disadvantage of this is that they're all going to be treated as the debris object and so all the debris is going to be the same. So if it ne if you need a separate effect, you need to call it something else and then create a new group, um, which is fine. And um, that can be placed on the layers and added materials likewise. So with this uh, system, uh, with caches, we have the ability to uh, post mod them, uh, which is fucking insanely amazing. So we'll just do our. Uh, We'll call it like cache in. We're just going to move these inside this group. And then I'm going to put a group uh, underneath here. And we'll say somebody's like, we do this and we do this whole scene. And they're like, uh, you know, like change that shit or whatever. Well, we can pretty much mod anything that we want. So we can grab uh, the debris group. Um, actually, we'll grow, we'll just all. Uh, we'll go to a black box, basic, uh, percent particles. Oh, hey, check that out. I don't even need that, because I got this. Uh, select them all, hold control, click and move, moves them. Remove, uh, alt, uh, and then just the mouse click, zooms. And then, because these are debris or in the all group, this is the uh, hierarchy. We can operators, standard, particle death. Turn it on. And then there's our percent. Let's drag that threshold up here. Call it reduction. And uh, and then name it uh, percentage, and then zero to hundred. There we go. Um, oh, we're gonna have to. We, we could create a, a TD tool out of this again. So I'm gonna do that actually. I'm gonna save in. Uh, I'll call it cache mod new folder because I think I'll we'll have lots of these and then we'll save reduction and then we will go uh, request all right so let's remove that select our TP oh wait I made a mistake damn it uh, block block cache mod Reduction, use existing, and there we go. All oh, it's 
notes there, but what I wanted to do was Make a TD tool, and so to make a TD tool, you have to put this in, or it's you're not gonna get a icon there. So I'm gonna save it, reduction, replace it, uh, use existing. It's on all, so all right. Let's remove that. Close this. Cache mod reduction. Drop that in there, and then there's our cache. We cached out some particles and then we'll just say somebody says whoever has the power to tell you you know reduce it by 50 uh, percentage one delete one percent then you're not going to see difference 99 percent you know so after we cash it out we can do operations to them and it doesn't end there you know we can uh, scale them down if we need we can uh, create a new one just groups all operators scale and 50 and there is uh, twice as small you know so if we need to do it if we're doing something like I was doing leaves you know cash out and they're like well make them make them twice as small uh, so I did and I just dropped one thing and uh, modded the whole thing very quickly so this system allows for very quick uh, modifications after we do this, so we don't really have to necessarily, if we're making a minor change like that, we don't have to delete um, or go through and cache again. We can just drop these quick TD tools, and they're avail and they're available to uh, uh, anybody to use. So it's just delete 10 percent, you know, just a bit less of them. Very easy, very easy, and. Uh, so that's that's to combine different caches and uh, to post mod. So this this post mod goes credit to um, Joe Scar who explained this uh, explained this on the CG fluids. So you cache you can cache this and then you can mod them underneath. You have to mod them because this is the order it reads them in and then it's going to do the operations to them. And then if you want to cache that out, if it's really, maybe you're doing a super heavy calculation to them, what you can do is you can move these in, and then you can cache this, you can uh, cache record this one now, and then so on. So um, I'm just going to actually bring up the page where you, alright, so this is what he says here. Um, so you cache the first dynamic set and then you add rules and then you can cache it and then add rules again, cache it, add rules again, cache rules, uh, cache it, add rules again. Very cool, very cool. So that was that was a huge help. And um, what is it? And then he says which ones? These are the things you can uh, modify uh, after. And I don't know what DT factor is, but um, very cool. Uh, so props to this dude. And uh, so that's it for this video. Um, peace.